Okay, so today what we found on our shelf is a Back to the Future replica toy car. This is one of the coolest toys that I actually have. This one's not going to be for sale. I'm actually keeping this one. It's going to my personal collection. Um, it's really neat, so I'm going to spend a little time on this one. Um, first off, I got this from Toys R Us a few years ago. I don't think they still sell it. I actually got it on clearance for a really good price. I believe I paid somewhere around maybe... 15 14 bucks for it and when it was it was priced at like 35 bucks though that was the original price it was on clearance it was the last one i had to grab it it's a little dusty actually i should have dusted it off but it's pretty neat it's a pretty functional toy it is all plastic first of all the wheels do roll let me show you that I'll turn it over they roll they don't fold in however like the original one uh well not like the original one, but like some of the other toys some of the other toys the wheels fold in this one does not However, the doors, the doors do lift up. I'm going to lift both of them up for you. You can take a look inside of there. Here, get a look over there. We have the J girl holding the phone. Okay. Um, also, the hood lifts up. This is also where the batteries go. I believe it was three AAA batteries, so it might have been three AA batteries. One of the two, I forgot. I haven't opened it up in a while. These are the original batteries up in here. Um, as you look along here, it has, I don't know what this stuff was called in the movie, um, but it's all there. Just like in the movie, whatever this stuff is, whatever they use. These pipes, electronics, these belts and hoses, wires, they're all here in the movie, uh, for like, from, like from the movie. It's a pretty neat toy. And there's a surprise at the end because this toy does something very special. So just stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you that in the end, and that's when the lights go out. I think you got an idea what I'm talking about. But that's when it gets really cool because it does have sound effects, but it also had does something else. And I'll show you that in the end. So you gotta just wait for that. Um, as you can see, it has it's painted just like in the movie. It's kind of made to look a little kind of old, a little rusted a little bit. Here's the back view of it. And the license plate should say out of time. I believe that's what it says, or out in time. It's like the movie, what it, it said something like that. This one doesn't say that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna lift the bottom of it up. Bottom's not, the bottom of it's not that detailed, but. Okay. Now. Uh, show you an inside view from this side of the car. And you can see it has like the flex capacitor and all that stuff inside. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off now. So, can you go ahead and hit that light, Jay girl? Right now, uh, I'll leave this on. With the lights are out, let me turn it on first. There we go. And watch this. Yes. At the back view of it, come down some with the camera, straighten it out a little bit so you can see inside of it. There we go. Back up a little bit. All right, let me show you the front too. Also, do this again. As you can see, the front headlights light up. Also, this little beam right here is lighting up. That's pretty long. That was a long one. Uh, another side view of it. Back it up a little bit. There's that neon blue light. Not sure what the, what it's called, but it. And if you notice, if you look inside, you can see there's a light actually inside the car going on too. And I'm going to open the door for you in a second to show you that. Let me open the doors up. 
you look inside, you can see the gauges inside the car they're on. Here, get a close look inside. I'm gonna turn on again. You see they're on right there. So that's like the instrument cluster where the speedometer is at. That actually lights up on its own. And there's the light in the back side inside the car. Behind, like in between the driver and the passenger seat, there's a light back there that lights up. And it's it's displaying like um, I don't know, this is like ten different type, ten different sound effects. All right, you can go ahead and turn the light back on. And I'll show you how it looks while the light's actually on. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Uh, or if there's anything I left out, let me know, and I can always shoot another video again. This one's not for sale. This one's in my personal collection because it's pretty cool. And I haven't seen any others like this in the store. Um, so I plan on keeping this one. But, uh, yeah, so this is the uh, Back to the Future car. Um, kind of a pretty decent replica front movie. Again, it is plastic. So it's not it's not a metal one or anything like that, but uh, it's pretty neat looking, and this is also one of the uh, toys in my house that gets quite a bit of looks, and people ask about it quite a bit and say, well, either what car is that, or is that from the movie Back to the Future, which most people know if you've seen the movie. So it's pretty cool. All right.